When the planes hit the Twin Towers, some men and women stepped forward to serve. And today, Congress took a step forward to honor them. Yeah, the House approved plans to build a global war on terror memorial on the National Mall. Investigator Andy Sheehan has followed the continuing efforts of a local veteran to make this memorial a reality. It would take its place on the National Mall along the World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War memorials. And today, an emotion-choked House of Representatives took a giant step towards making the global war on terror memorial a reality. When I uh, cast this vote today, I'd all be thinking about my close friends, including Corporal Andrew Williams and Lance Corporal Christopher Lyons, who died 12 years ago today in Sikla, Iraq. For more than three years now, it's been the passion of Andrew Brennan, a Central Catholic High School graduate who served as a captain and helicopter pilot in Afghanistan and now serves as the executive director of the memorial organization. Everyone's recognizing that this is a multi-generational conflict at this point, and uh, with that shifting paradigm of war, the laws governing military commemorative works need to bend a little bit. The House struck down a requirement that a conflict must be over 10 years before a memorial can be built. But since the war on terror is ongoing with no end in sight, they voted now to begin the process so that today's veterans will live to see it. I can't help but think today of my grandfather, a World War II veteran. He never got to see the World War II memorial in his lifetime. And Congressman Keith Rothfuss said given the divided state of the nation, the timing could not be better. We need this memorial now more than ever. Yes, to remember our fallen, but also to bind us together as we reflect upon the sacrifice for the transcendent ideals upon which this country was founded. For as long as this memorial stands, it will continue to be the proud tradition of America honoring its sons and daughters who have given the last full measure of devotion. <clears throat> now that it's cleared the House, the bill makes its way to the Senate, where it already has 21 co-sponsors. If all goes well, it will be on the president's desk for its signature in the next few months. Reporting downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.